what's up guys welcome back to another episode of blackwater uh we had a client tonight take a a little psycho buck and uh, i'm going to show you guys real quick how to clean that thing up or the way that we clean the the deer around here and uh, how to break down the meat get it in the cooler <clears throat> and hopefully uh it'll be a little informational video for you guys won't be real long but uh something that you could take almost like a tech tip and um if 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 you ever have trouble doing this or, or we're wanting to learn how to do this uh, hopefully there will be a few tips in there that that you guys can take back with you and use that when you're cleaning your own deer if you see i'm doing something wrong feel free to comment below help me out lord knows i can always use the help step one get some havilons because nobody likes to sharpen knives especially at 11 o'clock at night Now one of the first things you're going to want to do is cut the front legs off. If you don't have a saw, it's real easy. Just follow that joint around, one quick snap, you'll knock it right off of there. Press it there, there, bend it around like this, and then just cut that joint. Run your knife around it like that, pull it down, cut the tendon, and you're done. We're not caping this one, he's just going to do a euro mount, but we'll start at the top and work him all the way down. When you get back up to the top, just go right above that top knee joint, make one circle, pull it down to the back, you're going to go around the vent, cut around the vent, reach your hand up inside, pull back through the inside. We're going to do this on the gutless method, so we're not going to cut uh, through the stomach, we're just going to drop the whole thing into the bucket. <clears throat> Pretty cool method, easy to do. You actually don't even have to drop them in the bucket if you're just wanting to get the tenderloins and you're gonna you're gonna debone the meat off the actual carcass. But if you want to keep the carcass whole and drop the guts, this is the best way to do it without taking a chance of poking the guts. you get down to the tail you just have a small tail joint it's just held together <clears throat> basically by a little little joint socket or whatever you want to call it there's a bunch of different ones in the tail all you're going to do is find <clears throat> one of the parts where it separates right there push your knife blade down on it it'll pop right out you'll be able to take the skin all the way, rest of the way down Once you get it all the way down to the shoulders, you're just gonna work around that shoulder. There's a little separation. Be careful, especially if you're caping something. You don't wanna poke through and then poke the cape on the other side. Make sure you get it down to where all you see is just like the, uh, oh, the cell membrane. It ought to be kind of transparent through there. Poke your fingers through there first so you know that you're not touching any cape and then run your knife around. Follow that down off the leg bone and then work it around the head. If 
There's a little hole I was talking about. I'm just gonna push my hand through like that, pull down and pull it right off. Just like taking a shirt off. Once you get that off, all you're gonna wanna do is pick up on the front legs. That'll create a little tension <clears throat> on the hide that's hanging down. You need that weight. So you'll pick up on the front leg, run your knife around there, that'll drop it down to the neck portion. Okay, once you get it down far enough that you can actually see uh, the, the skin forming around the bottom of the jaw muscles and bone structure, all you're gonna wanna do is, if, if you've got a, uh, a saw, by all means use the saw, it's easy. If all you have is your knife, super simple. All you're gonna wanna do is cut down to that last vertebrae. There'll be a, a, a pocket about the size of your thumb down there on the, on the spinal cord, <clears throat> poke through that. Uh, there will be some spinal fluid in there. That's when you know you, you got the right joint. Poke through that and then run your knife around the edge of that joint, both sides. You're also going to want to go into the esophagus, clear away anything in the, on the front side as well. Once you get it down and have trimmed out that side and, and poke through the back joint there, all you're going to do is give it one spin. The head will be able to come right off. All right, now we got that bottom joint cut. So all we're gonna do now is give it a twist and it should pop right off. All right, so that's how easy it is to pop that the head off of there. It's great, especially if you're out in the field or something and you're having to do it by yourself uh, on a hiking trip or something like that. Really simple to do it. You don't need a lot of extra tools to get that done. The same knife you're using to skin and gut them with, no problem taking care of the head as well. Now what we'll do is I'll bring the bucket over <clears throat> and all we're gonna do is show you how to do the gutless method. All you're gonna do is pull down, like I said, through the vent earlier, trim around the sides of the ribs all the way down. It'll actually use the weight of itself. It'll fall right down into the bucket. The only piece you're gonna have to cut is down around the heart and esophagus. When you pull that out, one slick trim and everything will fall in. I'm gonna go around the inside of the vent, making sure not to poke the, the uh, urine bladder. You don't wanna get that stuff on your meat. What I like to do is just put my finger on top of it, trace around my finger, then go to the back side, then I'll pull it through. Then all you're gonna to wanna to do after this is trim right in front of the tenderloins, the inner loins, trim it all the way down, cut on the side of the ribs, it should fall out. Super easy to do that, no guts involved. You really don't have to get too dirty to, to handle that job. Now all we're gonna do is break down this meat. This thing will be ready to go in the cooler and on its way to the processor. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Maybe you learned something. Maybe it was all stuff you already knew. Maybe you can uh, leave in the comments and, and teach me how to do it better than, than I've been doing it all these years. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I'll be here cleaning more Axis deer. Later.